Hey guys, it's Carrie, and I am back with a product share. And I know this product has been around for a long time, but it was new to me, and I can thank that to Miss Misty because she had sent flowers to um, Lisa at Made New to Create and Dina, This Mama Loves Disney. And I fell in love with their flowers, they're gorgeous. And so I, I talked to her and asked her what she was using. And she uses these heartfelt creation molds. And I know these are not new. They've been around for years. But they are definitely new to me. And like I said, this is what they create. It's crazy because they can take these simple, cheap uh, anti-alley dies that are plain and that we have to work our tools with like crazy. And still, even when we work them with our tools, they never come out like this. Um, and like I said, these molds, I'm still trying to get the hang of it. So I haven't perfected them like Misty does. But you just put your flower in here, put a little mist of water, close it down, and run it through your die cutting machine. And you get all these crazy layers that add all this texture and like embossed look. And then you just start putting them together. Granted, these are still a work in progress. I'm still trying to get the whole hang of it. But I think it may totally just changes the entire game on how you make flowers. I, they're so beautiful. They're realistic. They're what you would buy in a store. Um, I played around with some of the stamens and stuff that I had. Um, and I know like Misty like glitters hers and stickles hers and it's just crazy. And like I said, it takes literally these flat dies like this that turn out. And like I said, they're not ugly dies. They, you know, they, they work their purpose. But when you can turn this into a flower that looks like this, it's, it's a game changer. Um, and like I said, all these little flower, that flower dies I have, when you put them in this, um, heartfelt rose mold, because each of the petals have different shapes on them, it takes on a completely different look with each flower. Um, so yeah, like I said, this, these little ones right here, and that's just three little layer to flowers. And that's using these dies here. And then this one is these dies. And then this one right here is using these, these ones right here. And yeah, I just think these flowers are crazy beautiful. Um, I know they're, they're definitely still a work in, a work of art or work in progress, I should say. But like Alicia, she was talking in one of her videos just recently about how if anyone had any secrets or tips or, or whatever to make flowers look, especially a lot of the anti alley flowers, or I should say AliExpress for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, Alicia, these are completely incredible like yeah I know my choice of paper and everything right now everything looks the same but it's it's definitely something to invest in um I would have never bought these for myself because I did buy one and that was on the recommendation of Misty but um and I found it on Amazon and I want to say it was $27 for one mold so for combination of the two molds, it was, it was definitely pricey. It was just over 50 bucks, but it's something that's definitely a sturdy product. Um, uh, they're, they're going to stand the test of time. I can tell you that the only thing that may change are the die cutting machines and how you can use them in there. But as of right now, even when you go on their website, it tells you what die cutting machine you have and how to sandwich to to get it to work. And like I said for for that um 
I think it's definitely well worth the money when it can make your flowers look so realistic and so, you know, pretty and whatnot. So I definitely recommend these and yeah, that's all I had to say. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.